bless you everybody we're greeting you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ um, this morning we're going to look at um, Proverbs chapter 3 and by the way this time we call it inspirational time so you can give us your time so that you can listen to the word of God Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 1 it says my son forget not my law but let thy heart keep my commandment verse 2 for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee verse 3 and 4 let not mercy and truth forsake thee bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thy heart, so shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Verse 5 Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. Let's pray. Father, we thank you this morning because of your word. We thank you because of the reading of your word. We know that your word giveth life. It is by your word that the world is created and established. Father, this morning, open our eyes in the mystery of your word that we may be able to understand this word that you are speaking to us from your spirit. In Jesus name we pray amen now it is very very unfortunate that most people try to prevail and try to prosper without the Word of God in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 the Bible mentioned to us about good success so which means we have good success and we have bad success so the good success is the success and the prosperity that comes from the Lord and the only way to get to this point or to this realm of prosperity and the type of prosperity I'm talking about is keeping the law of God is keeping the commandments of God so that we can get ourselves into good success and also attract the longevity of life now you may wonder why is it that men die so quickly they live a short life today because there is no law of God abiding in their heart they are not ready to keep it some of us we know it but we are not ready to maintain the principles of God which says in the book of Deuteronomy you know you're going to edit this thing now. in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 we're just going to look at some of it and I'm going to read from verse 1 in this book the Lord also mentioned to us the way to live so that we can travel and prosper and live in what I call the good success verse 1 said and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command you this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of of thy God. 
Blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thy kind, and thy flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket of thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thy enemies to rise up against thee, to be smiting before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee, and the storehouse, and in that thou settest thy hand unto, and it shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself. And he had sworn unto thee, If thou shalt keep the commandment of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways, and all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. Praise the Lord. Now we can see from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 that the Lord also is telling us about the things, the good wills that is attached to this keeping of commandment, keeping his commands, not haphazardly, keeping all, and that is when the full blessings shall come upon thee. So many people are moving around today, doing some businesses that are not legal, doing some things that are not worthy of God. Yet they go to church. Yet they stand in his presence to shout hallelujah. I wish God was man. Sometimes when we are shouting that hallelujah, he will tell you to shut up because you are not worthy of his presence. Because we are saying something else and we are doing something else. So if we can give our heart totally today, give our heart so that our faith may stand in the Lord Jesus. Our faith will not be shakable. When we stand, no matter the condition that you find yourself in today, I know that tomorrow will be better. Why? Because your faith is in the Lord. He that put his trust in the Lord shall never be ashamed. According to the book of Psalms, you will never be ashamed when your trust is fully in God. But if you trust your wealth, if you trust your schemes, if you trust your skills of craftiness, then you will surely be ashamed. One day, you will find yourself in a shameful condition. But those who put their trust totally, as we read the Bible, if we go through the verses of the Bible, there is no man who put his trust in the Lord that was ashamed. The Bible says, Enoch walked with God. He has a testimony that he walked with God until he was no more. Abraham, the father of faith, had faith in God. And it was counted unto him as righteousness. The Lord said, I will bless you. And you will have many sons. He said, look on the stars of heaven. That is how your sons are going to be. They are uncountable. Even though at that time he has, only, he has no son. At his old age. God gave him only one son telling him that you are going to be father of all nations you are going to be your sons are going to be many like stars of heaven but today what is happening today because the Lord God Almighty who is able to keep the promises even to a dead man kept his promises to Abraham so Jesus said 
when I come into the world, when I come again, will I find faith? Am I going to find faith? Is it possible that I find faith when I return? People of God, I wish you can come back to faith. The real faith that is unshakable. The real faith that keeps the commandment of God unconditionally. Because sometimes we want to serve God with conditions. If things are going well, then we continue to serve God. But when it goes the other way, you find your way. So today, you can make up your mind that I will serve God no matter what. I will keep His commandment. God is not a God that watches your mistake. You may have made mistakes in the past, but today is still another day. You can return today and say, God, I'm, I repent and I'm coming back to you with full, with my whole heart. I'm coming back to you. And you will see the Lord God Almighty showing himself mighty on your behalf. Can we pray? Father, we thank you for your word today. We give you glory and praise. We thank you because you are going to enter into our hearts. Father, as we give you our hearts, you are going to give us yours. He say, oh, let this mind be in you, the mind that was in Christ. Father, we depend on you for this mind so that we can have a sound mind. We can make a sound decisions. We can move and travail and prevail and prosper and also hold our hands in that promise that is long life, O oh God. Father, we thank you because as many that are coming to you today, you are going to anoint them. You are going to touch their heart. You are going to touch and extend your powerful hand, Father, into their lives. That they will be able to worship you in truth and in the spirit. Father, we thank you. Is there anyone that have backslidden? Is there anyone that is finding it difficult to obey you? We ask for your strength and ability, your grace, O oh God, to be upon such soul that that soul will repent and come back with the whole heart, come back wholeheartedly to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you this morning. I thank you for listening. This morning, this message is coming from you. It's coming to you from sendme.com.org. It's coming to you from also the Redeemed Pilgrims Ministry. UK. We thank you. You can find our number on our website sendme.org.uk God bless you.